we're back for Fire Emblem with uh, Link the Hero 64. How's it going, guys? So today we're on the side quest, the Port of Badan, which Link forgot was actually a side quest and not a required chapter. Well, just because it's it has it, one of the best characters in the game, so you just you just go for it. Yeah, definitely. Also, it's kind of integral to the plot, so yeah. Otherwise, it's like it is Rebecca's dad. Plot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Apparently, he's the captain of a vessel. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the pirate ship level after this. I, I expect there'll be plenty of pirate talk in that episode. Probably. Oh yeah, um, for those of you who don't know, Lynn hates bandits and pirates of any kind. That's gonna play into this. That's true. Yep, so boom. Plot bomb right there. Hector hates all illnesses because he's <laughs> dead in it. Hector so hates common cold. cold. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> and colds were common back in medieval times, so... Oh, for sure. Actually, does, does this take place in medieval time, or is it an like alternate universe? I, I, definitely an alternate universe. Kind of okay. This is Captain Fargus. I really wish you could get him on your team, but... So, okay, basically, if I had to, if, if I had to picture um, in my head what the guy who sings the Spongebob Squarepants theme song looks like, it's this. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> you see him like, are you ready, kids? <laughs> I, I can, yeah. Oh, dang. 100,000 gold. So we can we can abuse the arena. You don't actually have to get the 100,000 gold, though, do you? Yeah, <laughs> Elwood has the same idea I do. Abuse the arena. Except for you can't abuse the arena at this time. Because you don't have Oh, that's true. Any. Well, you can just grind on it. By the way, that's Dart. For those of you who don't know. You get him later. Yep. He's a pretty cool guy. Don't game. kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to. Well, it's very easy to not to, because he's right next to the captain. Those are your moves. There are some forget, very okay, so strong forget. enemies on this level. There, that's true. So I, forget, I have a question. Yeah? I forget. So they're like, yeah, we need 100,000 gold for this level, but you don't really, do you? You just need to get to the ship? Correct. That was just part of the plot, basically. Which is weird. Oh, I'm gonna sell the... Yeah, you can sell the red gem, it's yeah. fine. Oh, Matthew's got the hero crest. All of the, all of the upgrade items right now are mine. Which is kind of unfair. <laughs> but it's a good place to be in. Uh... Alright, that seems good. Okay, so you said you might not use Raven. I, I mean, I probably will, let's be honest. Okay, well, if you don't, I would be oh, willing to trade you... Oh, we can only Who would you trade I for? would be willing to trade you Lin. Hmm, I'll think about that. Um, With the Monikati, of course. Well, yeah, I would hope so. Uh, what about... Do you want Will or no? I do not want Will. Okay, so we, we can only take eight guys so right now. Right. We do not need two healers. Four. Okay, so you have to get rid of one of Okay, and I... That's fine. I need to take uh, Florina on this level. Instead of who? Uh, instead of... I have to get rid of two guys if you want to take Florina. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, let's get rid of... Sarah, for one. And... Oswin's not going to help you. Really. Oswin can guard Merlinus, though, for when the uh, boss comes out. So get rid of Lynn, I'll say. So you want Florina because she can fly over the buildings, so we I don't can know get if I really treasure. want. I don't you know do not need Matthew for this level. That's true. I don't know if I want Hector either. Marcus is pretty useful for this level. Who do you have to talk to Kanas with? Anybody? Anybody. He's in a village. Uh, I'm not gonna bring Marcus. Okay. So Oswin will do most of the well we can only take eight guys. I'm gonna take Kent instead of Rebecca though. Okay. A just decision. Merlinus became level 8. And Link goes first on this level. Um, Kanas is here, right? You're no, pretty... Kanas is in the village literally right next to the inn. Red building up. This one? Right, yeah, that one. Oh. Kanas is the only... So he's mine, right? Yes, he is yours. Yes. He's great. I really wish I got Kanas. He is the only dark um, magic user in the entire game until the final chapter, so... He's really good. Which normally you'd think that like a dark magic user oh, would be like... I'm sorry, elder magic. No, he just said dark magic. He said some call it dark magic, which is a very biased term. Okay, whatever. Is. But here's here's the nice thing. 
So, like, you'd think that, like, a dude who's into the dark arts would look kind of creepy or evil. He's more just like, hey, cool, cool guys, I'm a scholar with questionable fashion sense. Hey, Check out this don't monocle. diss the monocle. Uh, I'm kind of missing the monocle, but it's cool, whatever. He wants to go to den, ah, ah, ah. I mean, yeah, I mean, if the Count was human, he might look like that. Wait, is Lowen on this stage? Oh, yeah. You took Lowen. I don't know why, but you did. I did, because we need transportation. Rebecca's dad is here, too. Well, yeah, we just talked to him at the beginning of the level. I guess that's true. This must yeah. be his house. Oh, that's right, you get the Devil Axe here. Oh, terrible. I'm not a fan of the Devil Axe. So the Devil Axe is super powerful, and, like, anybody who can wield axes can use it. But it, there's a chance of it uh, damaging you. So I'm not sure if it's just, like, occasionally it'll damage you, or if you do a critical with it, it'll always damage you. Because I've found every time the Devil Axe has damaged me, it's because I've done a critical with it. And... <laughs> That's not good. Yep. Um, if you have high enough luck, the Devil Axe pretty much always works in your favor, which is Nope! Nice. That is not true! It, in my limited experience with it, it is true. Alright. Did you go to the inn already? Yep. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, you just run into Anna, who's in every Fire Emblem game. <laughs> that is true, yes. Actually, I don't think she is, but... Oh wait, I don't know why Oswin was going up. Oh, holy cow! Lowen yeah. is... wow. He's okay. jacked up? He is. Hmm. I'll be putting Oswin kind of further down. Raven is so good. Yeah, I, well, who am I kidding? I'll probably use Raven. You'd be a fool not to. Raven is so good. He's... yeah. He has, like, no personality, which kind of sucks, but other than that... Oh, we turned it off. Yeah, I turned it off last time, remember? That's right. What, what are you... I thought we were... want it back on? I thought, we, I thought you were turning it off just to make the video I go thought faster. We, I thought we turned it off just to make that video go faster, because it was really late when we were recording. Uh, whatever. I mean, you're the boss, so... Okay. This is a short level, we can at least... Well, yeah, it is, and you don't really fight that many Yeah, guys. okay, so once you go beyond a certain line, I think it's, like, right past this village, the pirates will start charging you, and as you can see, they're, Silver Axe, Killer Axe... They're ridiculous, you don't, yeah. you don't want to fight them. I have actually, there was one time I systematically destroyed every pirate on this level. Um, yep, yeah, it's possible, alright. Yeah. I think I actually killed Fargus, and if you do, you can't beat the level. How in the world did you kill him? He's almost maximum level. Berserker! Uh, I think I used Marcus. <laughs> of course. Like well, a combo of Marcus and getting a critical. But, I don't I know, maybe that was just in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no uh, video proof of it, so take it with a grain of salt, take I guess. it didn't happen, right? Yep. My, really, my only complaint with Kanas, or Kanus, however you pronounce it, is he's slow. Both in movement and in dodging ability. Well, look at that guy's nose. He looks like a Professor Layton character. <laughs> yep, he's also the first boss in Hector's story. Except he's he got a different hair color. It, well, it's like the same sprite, different character, technically. Mm. Instead of purple hair, he's got, like, brown hair. And his name is Wire. That's lazy. What? That's well, like I think in, it, I just, think that's, that's like in um in Fire Emblem uh, Path of Radiance on the GameCube. There is like a fan theory because they use the same character model for I think it's Ike's It's either Ike or the princess's uncle as like the Black Knight when you briefly see him that it's like it's actually him and he's like brainwashed somehow, but they never explain. I bet if you played the Wii one, they would go more into the uh, I Black Knight. I don't think so, just based on how okay. Captain Brady is. Okay, alright. So, that would be cool. <laughs> I want to play the Wii one, but I'm not paying like $90 for it. Well, that's smart. Hector's not going to stay behind and help? I didn't think you... I thought you said Oswin has this under control. He probably does. Wait, where do the guys appear? What do you mean? Why, why would you... Oh, crud. I was like, why would you move there? I didn't want them to be able to... Oh, crud. They, there's, like, you literally no reason for you to move there. Okay. No, because I didn't want them to be able to go around and attack Merlinus. I don't even think they move if you don't move that far. Darn forward. it. Well... You may have lost Oswin. Possibly. 
But we still have hope. Mm. Yeah. No, don't put her there. Don't put her back close. No, I'm trying to... F I wanted to get her close enough to Fargus. This could be the first level where somebody dies. This could be. If Oswin dies, I'll be pretty sad. It could be Merlinus, too. I mean, he comes back. I don't back, care if Merlinus dies. He comes back. He just doesn't get a level. To go back. Yes, they will. Uh, so what is your opinion of... Um, I will refer to it as casual mode. I, I, if you're about to die, scream if you must. I, I call it baby mode occasionally, but uh, the new, the two new ones, Fire Emblem Fates and Fire Emblem Awakening, have a mode you that, double shot us, that basically removes the permadeath, which to me, like, that just makes it not Fire Emblem. Essentially. No, it really doesn't. Doesn't uh, Fire Emblem Fates also have like Phoenix mode where your characters get revived at the very end, like as soon as they die? Maybe I always play on. I'm playing on normal difficulty and the uh, permadeath mode, personally. Right. Because that's always what I do. Yeah, Oswald's so dead. No, he's not. Not he on this turn, but uh, Priscilla can't reach him. He doesn't have elixirs. That's true. I didn't. F I didn't think they mar charged on well, if you got that. Like, that yeah. wasn't even that close. We well, gotta leave him for dead at this point and just keep going. It sucks, but... I no, want to, don't no, put, I want to give him a vulnerary! You're, you're really just trying to have Ella would die so we can... No, I'm not! I'm trying to at least have a chance of surviving. He, he's not! Like, all those guys can attack him! Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> okay, well... Darn it, I, I just realized, wasn't I supposed to move first this turn? Oh well. You handed me. Wait, were you? Yeah. No, you moved first last turn. Oh yeah, actually you're right. Sorry. Sleep. This is probably bad commentary. I feel like uh, we're we like have not been going back and forth as much on this. One. No, not really. <laughs> uh, I'm just so distressed about losing Oswin. I know. Like, Oswin's normally invincible. I swear they don't. Why would you move you him though? Go... Like they don't. They don't even come up usually that way. I don't think. Yeah, they do. But you can take it I out thought, one at I a thought time. it was like if you got here, these squares no, started charging. I don't you. think so. Alright, All right. well we've got the strategy guide, so I can take a look at that later. <laughs> yeah, we do have the strategy guide. Back, remember remember back when game I mean I know they still make strategy guides, but do you remember like before I I do remember back before right, what's your plan with Elwood? Um Is he gonna book it out of there? Do you want yeah, to... he's gonna book it out of there basically. He literally just went down to give Oswin some vulnerabilities. Okay, well I'm gonna have Hector stand there. Alright. Priscilla needs around. to keep a respectful distance away. I think our best bet might be to have, like, I'm just Florina gonna have... book it to Fargo. Yeah, that's what my plan is. Um. I'm pretty sure Oswin's dead, though. Ooh. Ooh. He, might, he might not be, because I, a lot of those guys don't have ranged weapons. Well, the guy. I'm worried about the guy with the floor. Oh my gosh, Oswin lives! <laughs> oh, this is insane, though. Elowood's dead now. Look at all those people on horseback. They're not that great, though. Ugh. Okay, the, the horseback guys? Not great. It's the pirates who are bad. Oh my gosh, I, we lived. We're not out of the woods yet. For in it, at least by the all next Alright, kid, don't get cocky. <laughs> okay, don't put her in that village. I, I'm going to try to... Oh, I guess maybe you could just... I don't know. Ooh, also... In that... Mm. We're, no, we're good, we're good. Hector's gonna stand here. And well, we can book it out of there, and the way things are, Oswin can just use a vulnerary and wait right there, and bam! We're good. Uh, okay. I don't know, to quote, guys. To quote Aladdin, do you trust me? No, I, I, I mean... Well, that's nice. I don't, I don't think he's gonna make it out of here alive. We'll see. So, just above the forest. So that's what's good. in that? What's in there? It is a because she might not make it to Fargus if you park her there. She probably will, but she might not. She absolutely will on her next turn, at least. All right. Are you interested in this? Oh, it's a Lance Reaver. So, that, oh yeah, it's good, but not great. 
Reaver weapons basically reverse the weapon triangle. Yeah, you talked about those in the last video. Oh, did I? I think so. Because I asked about, like, what's the one that's good against a horse? Well, that's the horse slayer. Oswin, just don't crit him and you will be okay. Good. If he had critted you, though, you could still die. Oh my gosh. I, oh. I can't believe it, Aver, but oh. you know what? That's the way Fire Emblem goes sometimes. Merlinus, oh. I really don't care if you die. That's sad, though. Why'd they move their, like, Excellent. Over? Don't move. No, Florina can end the game this turn, so. Mm -hmm. End the game, yes. <laughs> So much for abusing the arena if you wanted to. <laughs> there was no way we were going to abuse the arena on this level. You talked about it. I talked about it for the purposes of the story. <laughs> Bowen. Darn it, Bowen! There's no point in doing anything else. You gotta have her talk to him. Even though she hates men. <laughs> she doesn't hate men. Oh She's my gosh. just shy okay, men. That, was... that, is, that is gonna be... <laughs> He's like, ah, you made it, Wilps. You wanna know who lives in a pineapple <laughs> under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> By the way, neither of us are big Spongebob fans, so... Yeah, no, really not. I, I think he's kind of annoying, actually, but, I mean, everybody knows Spongebob. Yeah. Okay, as, as nerve-wracking as this level was, that's... The parts of this level are so going into my highlight videos. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so this next level is crazy hard, too. The pirate ship! I... Uh, 